What's up, y'all? Sparty here, and I finally got the S7 <laughs> being um, not, you know, factory, I mean, not factory locked, Google locked. I finally figured out a way to get it from being that way. And let me actually raise this up a bit, do that. All right, so Croft to the seller, he helped me every way he could, but I just found a way that I can do it without having to reship it back to him, despite or meeting him, you know, <laughs> since we both live in the same state and not too far away. So, yeah, I'm going to just get into this unboxing. Now, he left the box pretty well. He doesn't have like the sleeve on it that says Samsung Galaxy S7, 32 gigs black onyx you know shit like that it doesn't have that but it has the base box and it's in very it's in very good condition no scathes or anything like that nothing bad all right so let me get into it here's the phone itself other than like the little the little um the, the hairline crack right there there's nothing there's nothing wrong with the phone it's virtually perfect and flawless other than that but I'm not paying over like $260 just to get that fixed yeah that's how much it would cost <laughs> I checked it's a Verizon one you can get it unlocked so it could work for every other carrier though which is some which is the one thing about Verizon I like. And he also as I said in my like initial video about the S7, he essentially he had everything like it's it's almost as he he didn't open anything it seems like if I can get the damn got the earbuds that I'm probably never going to use. <laughs> And everything was like sealed and everything. It's as if he'd never opened the packaging except for the phone itself. And he also gave me like a free case with it too, which is cool. I like that. So I'm actually going to get into this right now. There's really nothing else in the, there's really nothing else in the box, you know, because I, uh, I unwrapped the charger and everything and all that. It came with the stock charger and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna just get into this here. And it says custom because I had to, I tried like a bajillion different ways of trying to unlock this damn thing. <laughs> That's why it says custom. I'm going to try to get that off soon, because ever since I did that, the phone's been rolling a bit slower, which is weird. And as you can see, it's the nice 5.1 Super AMOLED Quad HD 1440 by 2560 display. Glass on glass, metal Gorilla, Gorilla Glass 4 on the back. The 12 megapixel camera with the the bigger focus pixels, I'm not sure about the, all the specs. Your heart rate sensor and your flash. It has optical image stabilization and I already like set up the phone so I'll be able to like use it. Like I had to do some like excessive shit. <laughs> I already got my theme on here with the font I like to use. I downloaded a game and whatnot, <laughs> and I gotta say, I feel. Let me log. Let me actually uh, log into my Wi-Fi here real quick. All right, I got it all set up and whatnot with the Wi-Fi. Now, I don't have any wallpapers I want to use quite yet. But other than that little jitter you saw there, because the phone is just booting up. You know, it, it tends to do that when it's just booting up. I really like this black onyx color. I was trying to get like the <laughs> the pink Galaxy S7 Edge just for fun. Not because 
Not because I like pink or anything like that, which if I do, it's what the fuck ever. But because it looked nice and it was something different, you know. I don't like how gold looks on phones, but here's the always on display. You probably won't be able to see the little design that I have that it's using, but the screen can get ultra bright. And it still doesn't. It'll get ultra bright because it's a super AMOLED display. And that's not and that's the nice thing about it. Now I haven't really got the chance to test this camera out completely. But from what I can see, honestly, it's it's good. I'm not gonna say it's the best in class and what everybody else is saying, but I gotta give I gotta give it more of a, you know. I gotta give it more of a shot. As you see, what's up, you guys? <laughs> yeah, essentially, I'm gonna be te I'm gonna be doing the same test that I've done with my um V20, and I'm I'm gonna do water resistance too, but I'm gonna make it so I don't. I'm gonna have to make it so I don't, you know, dump the whole thing in there because I don't want water to get in the seams and cracks right here and get fucked up. But yeah, as you can see, the buttons, everything about everything about this phone that he's given, he's he he maintained his phone very well. You know, and I'm going to maintain it well, too, because I don't really drop phones or anything like that. <laughs> and I'm not going to get a skin or anything like that, because I like how the light refracts off the back glass. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a skin, but I was like, nah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to do the same like type of test that I've done with the V20, like I just said. You know, the whole gaming, user interface tour, and shit like that. But yeah, this is pretty much it as far as this video goes. I'm going to have a first impressions vid coming out maybe like... Um, I'll say maybe it's Wednesday, Friday or Saturday. Let's say that. So I can have like at least 72 hours with the phone at the very least. But yeah, this has been Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what other type of content you want to see with this. I'm actually very excited to have this, you know. It's a phone that everybody's ranting and raving about, you know. Saying it's the best phone that came out this year if the Note 7 didn't explode. Which... It's kind of stupid to say, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm not going to fault. Samsung makes great phones. I'm not going to say that they don't, but you guys know how I feel. I'm not really a, the biggest fan of AMOLED. I'm not saying that it's not beautiful. It's not a nice screen. Bitch. Oh, I didn't even set up that fingerprint. <laughs> oh look at that look at that that really makes sense <laughs> yeah I never really liked Samsung's fingerprint sensors. They always act finicky sometimes. But yeah. So I'm using manual mode, so I'm manually focusing every time I fucking put the phone down. Because <laughs> it seems to work better that way. But yeah. And like I said, I'll have more content on this phone soon. I just got it on 
block unlocked from you know Google, the Google lock and all that shit. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I've said that like four or five times now, but <laughs> this is really it. I already have a micro SD card in here. I bought I bought an extra one, a Samsung one in particular. You know, for shits, you know, not because, oh, it, it, it works better. No, it's just because, it's like, if I'm getting a Samsung phone, may as well get a Samsung SD card. <laughs> then it was like $57 for a 128 gig card, so I said, fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, this has been Sparta. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.